Hi, I'm Gordon Waite from Waite Research. Something that I find I do all the time is I have a need to find the center of a circle. Uh, in this case, this is a big turntable, big round turntable. It's almost 24 inches in diameter, but not quite. Uh, for a living, I make telescopes and telescope mirrors. And telescope mirrors are round, and it seems like forever I've got circles, and I need to find the exact center of the circle. Now, you can buy commercial jigs that are center-finding jigs, and they cost a little money. And over the years, I found the slickest way, and I swear it's the cheapest, the fastest, and the easiest way to find the exact center of a circle. You're going to need three items. You're going to need a ruler. You're going to need a pencil. And the secret is a sheet of paper, plain old sheet of paper. Here's how you find the center of the circle. Take the sheet of paper and you fold it in half. And you need to fold it exactly in half. You got to get it exactly perfect. And this is probably the hardest part of uh, this whole trick. <laughs> so uh, line up the corners and get it exactly right. And then put a really good, oh boy, that's not a good one, a really good crease down the middle. Make it nice and sharp, so I've got a perfect crease along the center. And we open that up. That's our main tool. Now to show you what I'm going to use this for, I actually have this pulley wheel that I need to mount in the center of the circle. This is a big uh, inch and a half thick turntable. Uh, so I need to find the exact center so that I can get this thing mounted. So I take my piece of paper here with this crease on it. And what you do, is to take the piece of paper and line it up so that the corners are on the exact edge of the circle. And this is really easy because the corners of the paper are really sharp and perfect. The corner and the edge of the circle is really sharp and perfect. So I hold this down and now you've got the crease of the paper here. So you use the pencil and you make a mark exactly at the bottom of that crease and exactly at the top of the crease. Move that aside, you take your ruler, line up those two marks. Again, the closer you can do this more accurately, the more uh, accuracy you'll have in finding the center of the circle. And you draw a little line there, right near the center. So I now have a line. Now I rotate my big circle here about 120 degrees or so, and I do the operation again. And it doesn't have to be precise uh, in how I turned it. Any change of angle will do it. I like to do it about 120 degrees, line up those corners on the circle, mark the bottom of the crease, mark the top of the crease, take the ruler, line it up on your two marks, draw a line that overlaps the first line. Now that should be pretty close to the center, but we're going to make sure, so we'll rotate it about 120 degrees one more time, put the paper down. Line up the right corner, line up the left corner with the edge of the circle. Mark the center here, or excuse me, the end of the line. Mark the end of the line up here. Get the ruler out, connect up the two dots. And now you have the center of the circle marked. And I'll, uh, Bring the camera in a little bit, and hopefully you can see the center of that circle. So that has to be the quickest, easiest, and cheapest way that you've ever seen to find the center of a circle.